Hi guys, uh, today I want to take you through how to resize and optimize uh, an image uh, to make it suitable for a website like uh, WordPress or any website for that matter. Okay, so what you'll need for uh, to be able to do this is uh, an installed version of Photoshop. Uh, pretty much any version will, will do, you'll be able to do this. Um, now just a note before we uh, get started, it's, it's really important when you're editing images uh, from your camera uh, to never alter the original images. Okay, so uh, always make a copy first and then edit the copy and leave originals in their own fol uh, folder system and uh, never edit those. Okay, so we'll get started. Now there's two different ways. Um, the first, first way is the easiest and quickest way to uh, resize and um, it's for situations where all you want to do is uh, resize and optimize the image suitable for a website so no editing. Uh, the second way is basically the same except um, you have to save it in a different format so that you can apply filters and crop and, and all that sort of thing. Okay so I'll take you through the, the quickest way first. Uh, with Photoshop open we go to file and then open and you need to locate the, file, the uh, image that uh, you want to edit. In this case it's in my pictures and it's this one here so I'll just double click on it. Now um, this particular image is uh, uh, 180 dpi and uh, quite uh, too big, it's about 3.2 megabytes which is far too big for a website. So all we're going to do is resize uh, we go to the file again up the top left hand corner and then you'll see an item there that says save for web and devices we want to click that now you may get a warning like this uh, the image exceeds this save as size uh, don't worry about it just click yes and the dialog will come up now the image is still far too big so 3648 pixels wide which is wider than most screens um, so what we do up the top there, the first thing we choose is JPEG. All right, um, so the JPEG preset there, and for the quality preset, we choose high, which is 60%. Okay, um, I wouldn't go any lower than that. Uh, medium pops it down to 30%, and the quality tends to get a bit blurry. Okay, so we'll stick with high. Um, check the optimized box there. Uh, you can also, if it's a very visual picture uh, that you're um, putting up, so something like uh, art or anything like that, you may want to embed the colour profile. Uh, that only adds a small amount to it. Uh, now we get to the resizing down the bottom here under the image size box there. Now, of course, uh, you can resize it to anything you like, but the best way is whatever your website's uh, maximum width is all right. Um, that's probably the the biggest size that you uh, want your image to be. Now, um, my WordPress installs it defaults to 1,028 by uh, or just 1,028 wide, so I'm going to do that. Or oh, sorry, 1,024, 1,024. Now, um, that will automatically. Uh, adjust the height to 768. Uh, if it doesn't do that then you need to check the little chain box there and make sure that that's locked in like that. Okay so 1024 by 768 that's for WordPress you can do whatever uh, size you like. Uh, once you've done all that we click the save button there and first thing we do here is we need to rename that image okay because remember we we don't want to um, edit the original so what I do with my images I put uh, underscore and then OPT for optimized okay so uh, underscore OPT optimized and click save and that will save the image in that location so we'll go there now check it out um, so that one that's the original and those dimensions 3.12 megabyte and the optimized one is that size that we made and it's only 260 kilobyte which is uh, pretty good that's not too bad uh, certainly acceptable for a WordPress uh, or any website for that matter okay 
Now, um, we don't, uh, uh, it'll come up here if you close that uh, image, it'll ask you to save the changes. Now, this is the original image, so we don't want to change, uh, we don't want to save any changes there. So we click no to that. All right, so that's a quick and easy way. Now, if you need to do any uh, editing of the image, I'll take you through that now because it's a little bit different. So again, we go to File and then Open, and we choose our original image there. And what we do now is we go to File again, and we go to Save As. All right, and then for the format, we want to choose Photoshop PSD, which is the first one up there. Okay. Uh, you can leave it, it's a good idea usually to leave the name the same uh, as the original, but of course this is a PSD file so it's not going to overwrite the original which is a JPEG. So we click save. Now at this point you can crop um, uh, and do any adjustments that uh, you feel necessary. Uh, you can add filters and whatnot. Um, and you can also save the document uh, without uh, affecting the original. So from this point it's exactly the same process. We go to File, then Save for Web and Devices. Now because I cropped that it's going to be slightly different dimensions. Uh, again we choose the JPEG uh, format and the high setting. Uh, and then we go down to the image size so we're still 2824 wide and we want to make that, uh, in this case, 1024 picks. Okay, and again, that will automatically do the height. So most of the time, unless it's uh, logos and things like that, all, you can, all you're really concerned with is the width of the image because uh, the height uh, will just automatically fall into place. Right, so um, once you've finished uh, with the settings, we can click Save and that will most likely default into the same location. Um, now you want to give this one, um, you can either leave the original image there and then prepend it with um, a descriptive term uh, and then click Save. And you're all done. So it's reasonably easy. Um, there's a few technical aspects of it. Uh, also a note with the DPI, um, it's DPI is in direct relation to the pixel size, all right. Um, and you never need to save a, a photo for a website any higher than 72 DPI, all right. That's the standard screen um, resolution. So any higher than that, and you're just wasting bandwidth. Okay. So, uh, but in this uh, situation with Photoshop, it'll automatically do. Um, it'll automatically save it in uh, 72 DPI suitable for web. Okay, so uh, any questions or comments guys leave them below and I'll catch you next time. Cheers guys.